How did we get out of it alive? Paula Fobble has oh, been a yeah, special education teacher for 18 years, That's all it. at Briarwood Elementary. Herself, the mother of a special needs child, it was more than just a job. The school, just one block from her home, now everything she owned is either destroyed no, no use to me. or buried. That's my car. Oh my God. We were with her as she marched over the rubble to see her classroom for the first time since she and three other teachers led 18 students out of the debris. Still a dangerous place, it was as if time had frozen. But amidst all the destruction, Paula found reason for hope. Oh look, we still got our snacks in here. Found my tote bag with my medicine still in it. I have a comb now and a brush. <laughs> More than just possessions now, yeah. they're reminders of her life before the storm. Well, if you're wondering where it was they went, that somehow they survived, well, this is it. A hallway just in front of both the boys and girls' bathroom. 18 kids covered in pillows, four adults laying on top, and somehow they all got out relatively unscathed. I was laying on top of three of them, and I kept saying, are you okay, are you okay? And Little Brady says, yes, I'm fine, and he has a heart condition, so I had to, I was really concerned about him, but the kids were so great. They, they were so quiet, and you could the only thing you could hear is us adults praying. Paula says prayer is just part of her life, every day before school, and every day before she went to her second job at a local fast food restaurant. This teacher hopes her experience serves as a lesson for your own life. Get you a storm shelter or a safe room if you can't afford it. Or make a friend. Let's make a friend, a real good friend up there. He'll take care of you. He took care of us. It hasn't shaken your faith any. Oh no. It's made my faith even stronger. I wouldn't be here if I didn't have my faith. If I gave up. Dan Thomas, KOCO 5 News.